About a month ago, I made a video comparing the supermarkets in the US and in the UK and a lot of you guys requested me to compare McDonald's food because you wanted to see what the sizes were and you wanted to see if the food was different by itself. So here it is, I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I ordered from the menu was a Big Mac because I thought it would be actually quite easy to see the difference in sizes. So I asked them to give me the largest sides they could give me, so the largest fries and drink. Starting with the fries, this is so big I've never seen anything like it. Like, the size of this is insane. I'm gonna try them for you guys because you guys like it. Very similar to if you taste it anywhere in the world, which is exactly what I love about McDonald's is you can go to McDonald's anywhere in the world and it sort of feels like home. I approve. I also approve of the size. I wish we had this size in Europe, but not even close. The next thing I've got here is the Big Mac itself. I think it might be very similar to the Big Mac in the UK, but um, I can't swear, but you'll see the difference in the video. I mean, it's a Big Mac, it's big and it looks very tasty. I always buy the side with more cheese because that's just what people do. I never ordered a Big Mac, but this is actually very delicious. Um, it tastes, I think, very similar to what it tastes in Europe. This is what impressed me the most, is the size of the drink. This is very big. Weirdly enough, this is the thing that tastes the most different. A Diet Coke in the UK is not even close to being as sweet as it is in the US. So here in the UK, I went to McDonald's and I ordered the same Big Mac meal and they forgot to give me the actual Big Mac so I got the drink and the fries but that's, that's, that's not important because the thing we wanted to compare the most was the sizes. This is the size of the large fries, I mean it's much smaller than it was in the US but I was kind of expecting that already. Mm. I think these are slightly saltier than in the US. And this is our large drink. This is as big as it gets around here. This is just like embarrassing, UK. Tastes very similar. So the thing I ordered from the menu after was chicken nuggets. And I thought it would be nice to see what's the difference in the amount of chicken nuggets they're allowed to serve. So I asked the lady at the McDonald's in the US um, give me the largest amount of chicken nuggets you're allowed to, as in one order, like as an actual order that's already made in the menu. So the lady from McDonald's told me that the largest amount of chicken nuggets you can have is 50. So, so that's what we got here. I'm actually meeting some friends later, so they're actually gonna enjoy all this insane amount of chicken nuggets. But you can order 50 chicken nuggets in the US. I don't think the amount you can order in the UK is even close to 50, but you'll see in this video. I actually think the chicken nuggets in the US are slightly darker, but I could just be imagining things and it might actually be the same. I was right about this, but I went to McDonald's here in the UK and I told the lady, give me the biggest amount of chicken nuggets you can give me. And they gave me 20 chicken nuggets, but this one actually comes with like a specific box, like the one in the US is just basically multiple boxes. But this is the most amount of chicken nuggets you can get here. A little underwhelming, not gonna lie. If calories didn't count, I would probably eat these every day for the rest of my life. I do think these are much lighter than the ones in the US and they're also softer. Like I feel like maybe they're fried for a slightly less amount of time, I don't know. Mm. This might be the best thing humankind has ever invented, so... For the next thing, I thought I want to order something that doesn't exist in the other country. In the US, I decided to order a McRib because I've never seen it before. I've heard a lot of people talking about it on Twitter and the picture looked interesting. I think it's like barbecue sauce and, the, and then pork. I don't eat pork a whole lot, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. Don't get upset at me if you love it and I'm not going to like it because I don't think I'm going to like it. That's actually really good. I think mine looks a little bit messy, but it tastes good. So for this one, I actually had to do some research about something that we have in the UK that you guys don't have in the US. One of the few things that we have that you guys don't have in your menu is the chicken legend. And I think this might be the most popular thing in McDonald's, at least that's what I order most of the times. And my friends as well, everybody always gets a chicken legend. And it's basically um, a chicken sandwich. That's what it looks like. You can choose it with mayo and it can be like cool or spicy or you can also choose it with, I think, salsa or something like that, like tomato sauce. Um, I always get it with 
pot mayo, I think. I think that's what this one is. It's actually very different from most of the things you guys have in the US at McDonald's because the bread is not sweet. It's just, you know, like kind of like sour actually. This is more like McDonald's take on an European bread. So nothing too sweet, which is nice. I like it. So for the next thing, I really wanted to order something from the breakfast menu, but obviously I was really concerned because it's like nighttime, as you can see in the background. In the US, you're allowed to have McDonald's breakfast 24 hours a day. Like, I, if I wasn't planning on moving here, I am now. I think this is called a, I don't know, I'm, oh, here. It's a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. A biscuit at McDonald's. I mean, it's kind of soft. It's nothing like a biscuit in the UK, so I'm very confused about this. We're, we don't have this biscuit thing. Not in the UK, not in Europe, not anywhere else I've been. It looks like a scone. It's kind of like flaky and eggy, but sweet. And it's just so weird to have that with eggs and bacon. But I can see why somebody likes it. It smells good and the eggs, the eggs taste really nice and everything, but it's just such a, such a difference from what I'm used to eating. Like I've never tried anything like it. So for the breakfast menu, it was very difficult to find something that we had that you guys didn't have in the US. Cause your breakfast menu is just like six times bigger than the one in the UK. I did find something. We have this thing called a bacon roll, which is, Basically bread with bacon in it and ketchup. It's literally just that. It's very plain But I feel like it only exists in the UK. I don't remember ever seeing it anywhere else at McDonald's It's just bread with a big amount of bacon. It's really good, but You have to really like bacon and ketchup because that's the only thing that's in it. I mean amazing, right? <laughs> I actually prefer this because it's a little bit more plain and sometimes you just don't want to eat I don't know a lot of sauce or the sauce that your eggs for breakfast. So this is actually quite nice For the last thing I ordered I really wanted to order something with chicken in it Then I saw this buttermilk chicken and we don't have buttermilk in the UK That's just not a thing that you can order. I mean you can have Grilled chicken or fried chicken, not buttermilk chicken. So this is what a buttermilk chicken sandwich looks like. That's really good. Oh my god, there's fireworks in the background. There's a giant mirror in front of me. This is very good, I really like it. I mean, the chicken is delicious, you can see. Focus camera. Overall, I'm very impressed with McDonald's in the US. Like, the sizes might be slightly bigger, but the flavors are very good, very, very tasty. I like the McRib even, which I really didn't think I was gonna like. Most of the chicken in the menu in the UK was McChicken and a chicken mayo sandwich. All things that you guys also have in America. Which is annoying because I wanted to show you something that you've never seen before. What I found was Chicken Select, which is probably my second favorite order at McDonald's. It's just very, very good. I think I might have seen this in the US before, but I don't think you have it right now, so it still counts as something different. It's basically like fried pieces of chicken and the difference is this is like a whole like like an actual like solid chunk of chicken rather than the chicken nuggets which is like tiny little pieces of chicken but this is very good it's i would say that it's almost as good as the chicken nuggets you can get three or five i usually get five but because i was getting so many things for this video and i'm trying to be healthy because it's the beginning of the year i only got three so that's sad but i'm gonna still try it for you guys that's very good. It's basically just like, like very like plain piece of chicken. It's so good. I love the chicken select. I also love the buttermilk chicken. I don't think I can pick a winner. I think they're both equally amazing. So I had this idea the other day of going to McDonald's in different countries. So let's say I'm visiting Spain. I'll just go to McDonald's and I just pick the one thing in the menu that I've never seen anywhere else. And then just put together a video of all these different McDonald's foods from all over the world. So if that's something that you guys are interested in watching, definitely give this video a like or leave a comment down below and just let me know, Rafa, I wanna see this, please make this happen. And I'm gonna give it a try. Please give it a like, please let me know if you wanna watch this. These videos are just an excuse for me to eat all this junk food when I'm trying to be healthy. Thank you for that. There's a new video on Wednesday, so please come on Wednesday around 6 p.m. UK time. I hope you guys are having an amazing beginning of the year. If you haven't watched my previous video, Video yet it's a little bit messy but a lot of fun so I'm gonna link it at the end of this so you can click for it so yeah um, I'm not even gonna lie I'm just gonna eat chicken nuggets now because 
I mean, what else am I gonna do? I just, I bought them, so now I have to eat them. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.